Example two. Suppose the graph of the velocity function of a particle is as shown in this figure, where t is measured in second. When is the particle traveling forward, which means in the positive direction? The particle is traveling forward when the velocity is positive. This is a graph for the velocity function. The velocity is positive when it is above this x-axis. So this part of the graph that is above this x-axis will have positive velocity. So we see that velocity is positive when t is greater than zero and less than five. Using interval notation, that is when t is in this open interval from zero to five. When is it traveling backward? It is traveling backward when the object is traveling to the negative direction, which is when the velocity is negative. Looking at the graph over here, we see that this part of the graph is below this x-axis, and this is the graph for the velocity function. So velocity is negative over here on this time interval from seven to eight. So the particle is traveling backward when t is greater than seven and less than eight. Using interval notation, we can write that when t is in the open interval from seven to eight. Now, what's happening when t is greater than five and less than seven? We see that the velocity is equal to zero when t is greater than five and less than seven. Therefore, the velocity is zero and the particle is not moving. Sketch a graph of the acceleration function. This is a graph for the velocity function. Acceleration is the derivative of the velocity. And it corresponds to the slope of the tangent of the velocity. Since the velocity function is piecewise linear, each piece over here, it is part of a straight line. The acceleration will be equal to the slope of each corresponding piece when the slope here exists. From time t equals zero to one, the slope over here will be equal to three. Between one and three, the slope of this line segment is equal to zero. From here to here, this line segment has slope equal to negative three over two. Here, the slope is equal to zero. Over here, the slope is equal to negative three over one, which is negative three. So the graph of this acceleration function, so the graph of this acceleration function will be like this. Between zero and one, acceleration will be equal to c. So the graph for this acceleration function will be like this. When t is between one and three, acceleration is zero. So we have this part right here. When t is between three and five, acceleration is equal to negative three half. And we have this. When t is between five and seven, acceleration equals zero. And we have this. When t is between seven and eight, acceleration equal to negative three. And we have this. So this is a graph for the acceleration function, part e. When is the particle speeding up? The particle is speeding up when the velocity and acceleration have the same sign. When they are both positive or both negative. Looking at the two graphs over here, we see that 
the velocity is positive when t goes from zero to one, and the acceleration is also positive when t goes from zero to one. Both of them have the same sign on zero to one. So the particle will be speeding up on the interval from zero to one. The velocity is negative on the time interval seven to eight, and the acceleration is also negative on the time interval from seven to eight. So on the time interval seven to eight, acceleration and velocity both are negative and they have the same sign. So the particle will be speeding up. So because on this time interval from seven to eight, velocity will be negative means the particle is moving to the negative direction and acceleration is also pointing to the same direction, to the negative direction. So it's pushing the particle in the same direction. So speeding up the particle. So the particle is speeding up on this interval and also this interval, but F, when is it slowing down? Looking at the graph for both of them, we see the velocity is positive over here and it is negative over here. The velocity and acceleration have opposite signs. So the particle is slowing down. So the particle is slowing down when the velocity and acceleration have opposite sign, which is when t is greater than three, less than five. On interval rotation, we can write this open interval from three to five. But g, when is the particle traveling at a constant speed? Particle is traveling at a constant speed when is acceleration equal to zero. And this happened when t is greater than one, less than three, or greater than five and less than seven. That is when t is in the interval one to three union five to seven.